Back when we were doing mechanics, we mentioned heat a few times, but we never formally defined it. And let's do it now so that we can then move on to calorimetry. And what we'll say is that heat is the energy transferred between a system and its environment because of a temperature difference between the system and the environment. And heat will always be transferred from the hot body to the cold body and can only flow in that direction from hot to cold. And for a given system, we'll consider heat entering the system as positive, heat leaving the system as negative. And in the example below here, if we have a temperature T hot or TH that is greater than the temperature TC of this object, then heat will flow from left to right, from the hot body to the cold body. We'll talk more specifically about heat transfer itself in later videos, but keep in mind for now that heat transfer exists because there's a difference in temperature. If we wait and we reach thermal equilibrium so that the two blocks have the same temperature, then there is no heat flow. But intuitively, we sort of understand that, at least from everyday life, we have somewhat of a reasonable understanding of what heat is. We do have one flaw, though, in how we think about heat, and this is important to point out now. That is that heat is not the only way to heat a system. And that's confusing because if you want to heat a pot of water, you put it on the stove, you turn on the stove, heat transfers to the water, you heat the water. It all makes sense. We even say to heat the water. So the issue is that it's not the only way to increase the temperature of the water. It's the best way on a practical level, but theoretically, you could take a wooden spoon or a whisk and stir the water. You'd have to do it for a very long time, very fast, but the temperature of the water would go up. It's a terrible way to boil water. Nonetheless, it does show that work and heat are equivalent and there are two ways that we can think of right there to increase the temperature of our system. Heat is not the only way to change the temperature of a system. So we'll write that down just to have it in mind, and we'll bring it up again when we talk about the first law of thermodynamics. Heat is not the only way. To change the temperature of a system. You could also do work. Look, the same applies if you take a hammer and a piece of metal and you hit the piece of metal long enough. The piece of metal will heat up. But it's not because there was heat transferring from the hammer to the metal. It's because you were hitting it and doing work. Thanks for watching this video. We created Cogverse Academy to help you save time by focusing on what matters most when studying for exams. If you'd like to learn how Cogverse Academy can personally help you improve your grades, check us out at cogverseacademy.com and send us an email if you have any questions. We'd love to help you.